Tutorial 5.3, Question 15. Give an example, for each of the following, crystalline solids. Metallic. Ionic. Molecular covalent, and. Giant covalent. An example, for each of the following crystalline solids. For metallic solid, sodium, or other metal. Ionic solid can be, sodium chloride. Molecular covalent, solid carbon dioxide, or dry ice. For giant covalent, is diamond. Tutorial 5.4, Question 2. State the number of phases, for each of the following system. First, a mixture of ethanol and water. Second, a solution of benzene and water. Third, a mixture of oxygen, nitrogen and, carbon dioxide gases. Fourth, nitric acid, aqueous, in equilibrium with its vapor. The number of phases, for each of the following system are. A mixture of ethanol, and water has one phase, because ethanol and water, have same intermolecular forces, which is hydrogen bonding. Therefore, ethanol and water, can dissolve in each other to form homogeneous mixture. We cannot see the boundary between the two liquids. A solution of benzene, and water has two phases. It is because, Benzene and water, have different intermolecular forces. Therefore, benzene cannot dissolve in water. They form heterogeneous mixture. We can see two layers is formed. A mixture of oxygen, nitrogen and, carbon dioxide gases has one phase, because they form homogeneous mixture of gases in the air. Aqueous nitric acid, in equilibrium with its vapor, has two phases. It is because, there are boundary, between liquid and gas state. Tutorial 5.4, Question 5. Figure below, shows the phase diagram, of water. Explain the anomalous behavior of water. The answer is, the BC line is negative, which is shift to the left, due to, ice is less dense than liquid water. For question B, identify the triple, and critical point. The answer is, triple point is, at point B and critical point, is at point A. For question C. Which curve, represents the equilibrium, between ice and water vapor? The answer is, curve DB or BD. For question D. State the phase changes, when a sample. At point E is heated, at constant pressure, until point F is reached. The answer is. At point E, the sample is in solid phase. When reach BC line intersect, the sample is in solid, and liquid in equilibrium. In between BC line, to BA curve, the sample is in liquid phase. At BA curve intersect, the sample is in equilibrium, between liquid and vapor. Finally, when point F is reached, the sample becomes vapor.
for question e name the point at which the bc line intersects one atmosphere line the answer is normal melting point or normal freezing point